What's good, everybody? Welcome back to, or actually, welcome to a more over of the educational side of YouTube. See, I've been seeing this video across my um my recommended for a while now. I've seen it about ten times, but have not actually took the time to watch it. A little bit of advice from it for me is that time is key for everything. Time is an essence that you can manage, that you can't get back, and that you can put to your use to achieve many things. Time manage, time, time management, time management, right? Time management. Always know how to manage your time. Anyways, man, y'all go ahead and watch the original video on your own because of course we're going to be pausing this video sometimes to actually talk about this it has 3.4 million views my guy that's not even the point why i clicked on it the point why i clicked on it is because i'm trying to learn something or see from a different perspective as i have not already so let's get straight into it man thank you bernard albertson for making this video Good morning. Whoops. Good morning, Bernard, or Bernard, Mr. Albertson. It's raining. Hold on a minute. There. Wholesome. I thought I'd talk to you a little bit this morning about, uh, oh, by the way, this is a new computer, and it does all kinds of things, so I have to be careful. Uh, I'm not the sharpest tack in the box when it comes to this new equipment. You're I could already tell I'm finna like this video. I can already tell. Talking to a guy or a guy is speaking to you now. Hey, I'm a, um I'm actually not gonna pause it. I'm gonna watch it all the way through then just talk at the end. So if you guys wanna, you know, join me for this little talk at the end, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm not asking for no likes on this, I'm not asking for no subscriptions, I'm not asking for any of that. I'm just asking simply for your time to hear me out. Even if I don't have anything to say. It started driving. Thank you for being here, actually. This is the last time I'm going to pause it. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Having a Model A car, I remember the first jet airplane and many first things. The ice man delivering ice to an ice box, taking it off of a mule-drawn wagon. So, but I'd like to speak to you a little bit of this morning about uh, young people in particular. About accomplishing things. When I was young, as you know, I had a difficult childhood, but there's no excuse for people not being able to do what they want to do. You can do anything that you want to do. For example, as I've told you before, I lived in the back of an old car. I taught myself to read and write. So if you're young, don't give up. Don't say the world is just against me. That's not true. I taught myself to read and write. I've had five books published. I went to, to college, uh, got a little bit of college. I've studied scripture for many, many years. I've raised five children. I've buried a mother, father, sister, brother, wife, and daughter. So, a person can accomplish anything that they want. One time, to prove to myself that I was not an ignorant person, I bought a blackboard. And I purchased a correspondence course for computer programming, and I completed it with the blackboard. So, <clears throat> forge ahead. Don't stop. Never stop learning. Always reach out to better yourself. Because when you do that, things expand. You understand more. You're happier. You're healthier. This old saying that if you don't use it, you lose it, is absolutely true. If you don't use that brain that God put in your head, one of these days you'll be sitting 
on a front porch somewhere and you won't hardly know what's going on. So don't don't give up. If times are hard, good things nor bad things last forever. But most generally, we are in control of our own destiny. And when I say that, I mean this. If you're not getting ahead, you need to do something to allow yourself to get ahead. <clears throat> for an example, <clears throat> excuse me, for an example, if, if you want a good job, if you want a secure future, you have to have something to offer a prospective employer. Now, I'm not saying you need a PhD or a master's degree, but you do have to have something to offer. There's going to be a time in this country that people that know how to work with their hands plumbers electricians carpenters cement layers machine operators mechanics people that know how to work with their hands are going to be in great demand Yes, it's true. You have to have education and training to be an engineer or a doctor or a lawyer. But I'll tell you the truth. I spent 60 years working. I was successful. I started a couple of businesses. I'm not a wealthy man, but I'm a guy that came from living in the back of an old car to having a nice retirement and to be able to talk to you on this thing. So I'm going to close, but I, I just wanted to, to share that with you this morning. Young people, I love you. I do. I, I love young people. Uh, my grandmother always said, you know, when a baby smiles, the angels sing. And that's true. I believe. But young people, you're the backbone of this country. You're the backbone of the world. I don't care if you're in Asia, Africa, Korea, Japan. I don't care where you are. The United States, you are the leaders, the future leaders of this world. So reach out. Be yourselves. Don't be afraid to, 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 to go after what you need. So I love you. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> so believe it or not, this I don't really care about what this dude has to say. So um, let me get my, you know, sense out real quick. <clears throat> so when it comes to achieving anything you want when it comes to kids being the backbone of you know the world and all of that kids basically you know since they're going to be growing up and then you know furthering or leading however economic system however you know hands on system or technical system whatever type of system right however the younger generation leads is what we are going to be moving into because the younger have a, like they have they are healthy they have a better advantage they have the power to actually do that <clears throat> they're going to be future leaders you know what i'm saying does that make sense and when it comes to doing anything that you would want to do or doing what you want to do that is true you can do anything that you want to do and i'm gonna tie in what he said about education and all of that because he tied all of this in well like he literally he knitted all of this tight well and you know it, it's it's almost perfect yo when it comes to you wanting to do whatever you want to do it's gonna take knowledge behind that it's gonna take effort it's gonna take work behind that say you want to be a, um, a doctor you know that's pretty cliche or mediocre to say that you know a kid wants to be but it is what it is right it's what people have interest in it's what you know it, it, it it's a really well really good really great beneficial well paid all of that right so say you want to be a doctor say you want to be an astrologist say you want to be an astronaut say you want to be 
a journalist even you're gonna have to have knowledge you're going to have to have something like he said to offer because if you do not have the knowledge upon something to actually do the job then you won't be able to meet up to the rec the prerequisites and when it comes to knowledge and keeping your brain active it's true when your brain does not you know I if it does not stay active if you are not you know working or like if you if you are not working to keep your brain active if you're not learning or anything like that you will soon lose you know that little that drive that momentum you can see it as <coughs> say you're um say you're playing this this game right there's this one game where like you repeatedly tap you repeatedly tap and then like the line like goes up as you tap it so say you're typing or you're tapping at like let's say like I don't know how fast but you're tapping so that you reach the top of the bar and then you stop tapping when you stop tapping then it slowly goes down like the bar slowly goes down until you start tapping again then it starts going up each tap so if you do not you know if you do not keep your brain active if you are not actively learning if you are not actively thinking or any of that your brain will start to lose you know um sense basically not not overall sense but like d it'll just start losing like it'll start decreasing in power i should say right because say you you don't use something for a while it starts getting dusty so then you will have to you know crank the brain engines back up y'all know what i'm talking about with this metaphor like the the brain has gears in it and then after a while they start rusting and dusting up and when it starts up again it starts, you know, breaking off all that dust and starts, you know, powering, right? I'm sure, I'm sure that y'all have seen that metaphor in SpongeBob used before when Patrick had actually like lost his head, and then he found another one. Then he put it back on, and then the uh, gears started moving, right? But <coughs> when it comes to all that he has said, it's very inspirational. When it comes to um, him living in the back of a car, teaching himself how to learn, or teaching himself <laughs> how to learn, teaching himself how to read, it shows that anything is accomplishable. The only person that stays or that sticks in your way is yourself. The only person that fails you is yourself. I've said this on Kill Criminals before. Failing is not simply losing. Failing is when you give up on yourself because then you prevent yourself from continuing. You prevent yourself from being able to <coughs> go further to actually achieve that W. If you take an L and then you stop there, that's a failure because it's, in, it's on your end. You're the one stopping yourself. But that's really all that you know, I can speak upon this. You know, I have a lot more to say, but, you know, it, my brain, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of tired, bro. I know that's not an excuse. It's just, you know, I don't have all of what I want to say on the tip of my tongue. Anyways, man, it's been your boy, Kill Criminals. I don't know how about y'all, but I sure did like this video. If y'all really, if y'all like the video, don't give me the like, bro give this dude the like don't give me the subscription give this dude the subscription because he is the one that is talking that sense if y'all want to hear some more of my sense y'all could i mean if, if y'all want to hear more of my sense or even just watch the rest of the you know reactions on this channel then yeah y'all could subscribe to this channel for the reactions and then kill criminals for the sense <coughs> but besides that y'all go ahead y'all see him right here bernard albertson Anyways, man, that's going to wrap up this reaction for tonight, man. I hope that y'all enjoyed the video because I sure did. Y'all need to keep your head in the books. Yeah, they, I'm trying to do the same, bro. Trust me. It may be difficult, but it, it helps you out way, way further in the long run. <coughs> Anyways, I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. It's been Kill Criminals, a.k.a. Kill Quit Playing, a.k.a. Cute. And your boy just clipped out, man. Say it with me. 
I'm out. Peace.